Alright, hey guys, Anime West Blaze here. It's going to be playing Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Hope y'all enjoy this. Um, hope y'all enjoy this. If you do, then yeah. Be sure to like this video, share it, subscribe to the channel, and let's get into this. So yeah, we're going to be playing on normal for this story's sake. Hmm. That is really late. We haven't got a message from the guild saying he'd be home today, too. Hmm. And Sheriff's gone traveling around the kingdom on some kind of training. I'm so bored. Maybe I'll just practice with my staff a bit more before dinner. Hey. Or, hey, I'm home. Daddy. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Estelle. Take good care of the house while I was away. <laughs> of course I did. You run into any trouble, Daddy? You didn't get hurt fighting the bad monsters, did you? Nope, fine, fit as, fit as a fiddle. Reminds me, though, I brought you a present. Really? What kind of present? New fishing pole, sneaker, something for my training? Maybe I raised you wrong, Estelle. Aren't little girls supposed to like clothes and jewelry? I like pretty clothes, but they just get in, they just get dirty. And jewelry breaks when you play you go play outside with it on. Anyway, Daddy. What was a big blanket? That my that my present? Oh, you're a sharp one. Now, why don't you come have a look? What? Well, here you are. Quite a handsome boy, don't you think? Whoa, whoa. Why is my present a boy? <laughs> don't make such a fuss or you'll wake him up. Wake him up? You mean he's still alive? Looks kind of dead, if you ask me. Treated his wound, so he should still or should be in stable condition. In the meantime, however, we'll need to let him rest. I'll put him to bed, so if you wouldn't mind heating a kettle of water on the stove, I'd appreciate it. Okay. All right. Sure sleeps soundly, and he almost looks like he's the same age as me. This is the first time I've ever seen black hair like that, too. Certainly does have a nice head of dark hair. A pair of amber eyes to go with it. Hmm. That's nice and all, but how about you come clean and fess up? Fess up. Yeah, who's this kid anyway? And why is he hurt? Why'd you bring him to our house? Is he an illegit illegitimate child or something? Did she betray mommy? Where have you been picking up these kinds of words? No doubt from Shara's art, I assume. Yep, that's right. For heaven's sake, that girl is going to get me in trouble one of these days with all her nonsense. Actually, I just met this boy while I was out on business. And I don't even know his name. I mean, bracer business. Something like that. Oh, look. Huh? He's waking up. Hmm. Wow, his eyes really are the clear or the color of amber. Where am I? So you're awake now, are you? Welcome to my home of home. You'll be safe here, so please just try to rest. What are you trying to pull? Huh? You must be out of your mind. Why? Why don't you just leave me there to die? Why? That's a question I don't know. I don't know how to answer. Does they just worked out that way it worked for you? Don't toy with me, Cassius Bright. You have any idea what what you're getting yourself involved in? Hey. <laughs> you sure shouting a lot for someone who's supposed to be hurt. Running your mouth like that. Just gonna make it take longer for your body to heal. 
And just who are you supposed to be? I'm Estelle. Estelle Bright. She is my daughter. <laughs> Don't you remember me telling you that I have a daughter your age? Ah, she mentioned it. Wait a minute. Don't try and change the sub. <laughs> Ow. Quit yelling. All right, all right, all right, all right already. But you jumping on me like that isn't going to make me heal any faster either. I don't hear you yelling again, do I? Look, jumping on me like that is gonna make things worse. Do I hear yelling? <laughs> oh, I messed up that one. Now, a word of advice, it would be wise not to argue with Estelle while you're in the house, in this house. Even I won't stand a chance if I made her mad enough. Yeah, I can see that. By the way, aren't you forgetting something? Huh? Your name, you know, the thing that people call you. Told you mine already, so don't you think it would be unfair and impolite not to tell me yours? Um... Seems the logical thing to do, if you ask me. Trying to hide it... Now would only serve to your detriment. Find. Name is... Right. It's the black. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so yeah, sorry about that. Um, I tried to stop it or skip the intro, but couldn't figure out how to do it, so I ended up stopping the recording by accident. Because, <sighs> yeah, I don't know whether that counts as copyright or not. Don't want to deal with it. <laughs> uh, it's so bright in here. <sighs> Hmm, sounds like a rock. Hmm, that must mean it's Dad's turn to cook this morning. wonder if that means Joshua's still in bed. <laughs> I guess that's a no. Well, I guess I'd better go myself. Or better get myself ready then, too. Hmm. <laughs> nice, Joshua. Bravo! Good morning, Estelle. Hope I didn't wake you. Nah, I was already up when I heard you start to play. Can't believe how awake you are, though. Even the roosters still have bags under their eyes. Not that I'm in with that siren song of yours gently lulling this beautiful woman from her slumber. <laughs> what do you mean, woman? You're same age, same age, and I'm hardly a man. Tis, 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 how wrong you are, Joshua. Maybe the same age, but I am clearly the woman of the house. And that makes you something like my loyal follower, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, yeah, how fortunate for you. At least try to sound a tiny bit sincere. Uh, it really is a nice tune, though. Cheerfully, yet somehow wistful. I like your other songs, too, of course, but this one's my favorite. Or what is it called again? The Whereabouts of Light. That's right, Whereabouts of Light. Wish I could play the harmonica like you. Sadly, it's a lot harder than it looks. Compared to what it takes to use a staff, I think the harmonica is much easier. Really just a matter of concentration. Yeah, you're probably right. I guess my problem is just that if I don't do something that uses my whole body, I start to feel drowsy. Okay, playing the harmonica is fine and all, but how about getting some exercise too? 
All your hobbies are just sitting around kind of stuff like reading and music. No girl is going to be impressed with just that. Well, excuse me for being so unpopular with the ladies. Though I feel like I should be the one lecturing you about your hobbies. I mean, what kind of boy wants a girl who loves fishing, collecting bugs, and is a fetch for sports shoes? Er, that's enough talk about hobbies for now. <laughs> and for your information, I graduated from bug collecting a long time ago. Really? I'll believe that when I stop finding beetles in the hallway. Hey, Stella Joshua. Morning, Dad. Morning, Dad. It's breakfast ready. It's ready and waiting. Why don't both of you hurry on down before it gets cold? Okay. I'm on my way. Thanks for the grub, Dad. Boy, am I stuffed. Are you eating or inhaling, Estelle? Hmm. Like people say, kids who eat, eat and sleep a lot grow a lot. Well, make sure you get enough to eat, but don't forget to pour that energy into your work, too. That reminds me. You are finishing up your training at the guild today, aren't you? That's right. It'll be a review of everything we've learned up to this point. Once we're finished, we'll be bracers just like you, Dad. That means I'm not going to... Let you treat me like a kid anymore, either. You, st you still lack understanding, Estelle. You can only become a, bracer, a junior bracer in the beginning, or in other words, a trainee. If you want to be treated like an adult, then you should work extra hard in your training to become a full-fledged bracer. Well, I'm not afraid of the little hard work. Just you watch. Just you watch and see what I'm capable of, Dad. I'll be so successful that it won't be long before I pass you too. That's the spirit. Let's see what you're made of then, shall we? Let's not start a rivalry here, you two. And still, keep your fi- Blah. Keep your focus on the task at hand. We have a test later on today, remember? Huh? Wait, what test? Please tell me that you didn't forget about the test, Estelle. You know, the one that checks whether or not you've mastered the skills we've been learning and training. Don't you remember Shara saying that if we failed, we'd be stuck with a ton of homework? Extra homework. Crap, totally forgot. Now that you mentioned it, I guess I kind of remember her saying something like that. Don't sweat it. I'm sure we'll manage somehow or the other. Somehow or other. I honestly don't know how you survived this long, Estelle. Your brain is like a sieve. Papa is sad. How could any child of mine end up with such a careless, over-optimistic personality? Ha! You're the, you're the one who raised me, so I definitely got it from you. I swear, the two of you act so much alike, but whatever. Should probably head over... Head over to the guild soon, Estelle. Shira's gonna be waiting there for us. Sounds like a plan. You know how crazy scary she gets when someone keeps her waiting. Oh, before I forget, it's my it's my turn to cook dinner tonight. Is there anything particular you like to eat, Dad? Any requests? Something I'd like to eat, huh? How about ruined styled scallop fish in a balsamic vinegar sauce? What's that? I think that's a little more than Estelle's cooking skills can handle. Or our stomachs. You're right, I just wanted to see what kind of reaction I could get. I'll just have the usual fried fish and omelet. No need for anything fancy, but do try to make something edible. How rude, but I can't actually say he's wrong. <laughs> actually, I do have one favor to ask before you head out. I'd like you to pick me up a copy of the liberal news from the General Goods Store. You're supposed to be getting the latest edition today. Got it. One copy of liberal news from the General Goods Store. Okay, 500 Mira. 
there's any money left, you can have it as your allowance. However, this means no wasteful spending. Alright, thanks, Dad. Okay, heading out now. See you later, Dad. Work hard and give Shares our my regards. Right? So, yeah. So we're supposed to head over to the Bracer Guild now, I think it's at, or General Store. Buy that liberal news. Eh? Anyway. Alrighty. So yeah, we've got a nice little intro there, meeting Estelle and Joshua. Whew. Um, well, that's a bright house, okay. I gotta figure out where we're going. Which direction? Right, still, Rolling City is the opposite direction. Not sleepwalking in, are you? Oh. Well, how about you just be quiet and keep your comments to yourself? Oh yeah, went the wrong way, I guess. Alrighty, so yeah, this way now. <laughs> Alrighty. Yeah, so far I'm enjoying this. I haven't really done much, but yeah. Over here. Right, study of rolling. Hmm. Looks like we made good time. Not too early or too late either. Barely graduated from Sunday school. Never dreamed we'd have to study so hard to become bracers. Well, you're in luck. Today is our last day of training. Truth be told, though, you're the one signed up to be a bracer in the first place, so I don't know why you'd expect to get away with any less effort. Oh yeah, I guess I did. Alright then. Let's get to it and make it through this last hazing from Shara. Look right, you look ready to me. Go meet Shara in the Bracer Guild over there then. Yeah. Oh the morning to you kids. Morning, Mr. Elgar. Morning, sir. Well, you're up. Rather early, aren't you? I may have been wrong, but today is your last day of training, isn't it? I seem to remember you saying something about the last time I had had you run the store. Yes, that's right. Well, I see you well. I'm sure you'll do just fine, Joshua. Still, on the other hand, I've got good reason to worry. She's always been a bit scatterbrained ever since she was a child. Probably all that, all the knocks she took in the head playing with the boys. Really. But I guess that scatterbrain treat isn't something new, huh? Well, I'll, I'll give you a head injury if you don't shut up. <laughs> and don't call me scatterbrain. Okay, you two, let's not fight now. You shouldn't be... Shouldn't, shouldn't you be getting over to the guild? Oh, uh, yeah, just checking these places out for now. Um, yeah, here. Where we to go? Morning, Mr. Re Renon. Renon. Hello there, Stella and Joshua. You up rather early today. Did you come to buy a new pair of shoes? I'll let you mention it. Are there any new, uh, new ones in stock? You no, know, like the newest Stregas. Unbelievable. You're actually already forgotten why we came here to begin with. I'm not here to shop. We're supposed to be buying a copy of Liberal News for Dad, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> You've always been a big collector of those shoes, haven't you, Estelle? Right to say the new Stregas aren't out yet. If you're after the latest issue of the Liberal News, though, I should have them in around noon. Noon, huh? That's right, in the middle of our training at the Guildhouse. 
Stop by again after the training is over. Sure, I'll be waiting for you. Alrighty. Oh, yeah. It's been a while since I saw the both of you. I'm impressed you can impress see you visiting the chapel so early in the morning. Morning, Father Divine. Good morning. We're habitually late and played hooky more than a few times during your Sunday school days, Estelle. Have you changed your attitude in life since you graduated? <laughs> a bit, I guess. Looks like there is a little time before morning mass begins, so... How about I give you both a special sermon? Uh... No thanks. Am I getting thrown into the mix here? Oh yeah, that's a... Okay, this way. Ah. Right, here we are. There you two are. Good morning, Estelle. Josh. Good morning, Joshua. Good morning, Ina. Good morning. Hey, is Shira, or is Shira already here already? Yes, she is waiting for you upstairs. Once you finish today's training, you'll finally be recognized as members of the Bracer Guild. Good luck to the both of you. Thanks. Do our best. Here we go. <laughs> Star and the Hinged Man, Hermit of the Magician, and last of all, Inversion Through the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm, this is a difficult combination. How should I interpret this? Morning, Shira. Well, if it isn't Estelle and Joshua, this is a rare occasion for the both of you to show up so early. Since it's the last day of, my last day of training, I figured why not? Ready to get this show on the road and become a bracer myself. I'll give you credit for your enthusiasm, but I'm going to work you hard today in every way I can think of to make sure that high-spirited attitude of yours holds up. Hope you're ready. Can feel the enthusiasm dropping already. Quiet, you. Every time I teach you something, yeah, you know, something, blah. Training is my way of trying to keep some of the information in your head instead of letting it dribble off your ears like, us like it usually does. What, Joshua? Shira's picking on me. <laughs> Don't worry, Shira. Well, still, may hate studying and rarely ever does her homework. Actually, Ashley is overly naive and has a tendency to stick her nose into everything. Her instincts are sharp, so I'm sure she'll pick up on how to use an orbit with some practice eventually, eventually, probably. Guess there's not much that I can do now except hope for the best. Hold on a sec, Joshua. Somehow I get the feeling that you weren't standing up for me. Well, that's odd. I'm positive that I've strapped all your best traits accurately. Whatever. By the way, Shara, what were you trying to predict with your tarot cards? Your face was really intent. Oh, this? I was trying to get a vague reading about what might happen in the near future. Fortunately, I don't seem to have been in the right mindset to interpret the cards correctly. Couldn't read the cards. Not surprising to hear. Actually, the more profound the meaning of the cards, the more difficult they become to interpret. That's not important now. I think it's time for time we start your final training. I'll give you a brief rundown of all the information we've covered in your previous training. 
This is the minimal level of knowledge that braces should have in order to function effectively. And Estelle, make sure you pay especially close attention to what I'm going to say. Yeah, yeah. Right, about ornaments. Ornaments are mechanical devices which operate by using what is known as orbital energy. A variety of effects can be produced depending on the structure and type of quartz or process septium installed. Although it's only been about 50 years since their in invention, these devices play an integral role in all facets of life, from lights, heaters, and other everyday products, to weapons, magic, and even airships. In connection, this technical technological reform is commonly known as the Orbital Revolution. It, that's, it's about bracers. Bracers are investigative and combat specialists who work to protect civilians and maintain the stability of their respective regions. They aid the community in various ways such as exterminating monsters, preventing crime, finding lost items, and escorting people and goods. The Bracer Guild, which has established branches across the continent, manages the affairs of the bracers in each region. Right, and about the kingdom. The kingdom of Liberal, in which we live, sits on the western half of the Sumerian continent and abounds with nature and deep-rooted traditions. Liberal is proud to be one of the leading producers of septium on the continent and is known for its high level of techno technology used to develop ornaments. Orbment technology has also been a key pillar of support for Liberal in protecting its independence as it has contended with neighboring nations. Ten years ago, when Liberal was invaded by the Arabonian Empire, it was the use of orbital powered airships that saved the kingdom from defeat. Consequently, even now, our relationship with the Empire is somewhat sensitive. But thanks to the Queen's political finesse, Liberal enjoys peace. Alright, that's all. Let's see, since we've got a mountain of stuff... Yeah. Mountain of stuff to do, let's... Er, today, I'll let you off the hook this time with a condensed review. I'm going to speed things up now and move on to the practical portion of your training. Uh, Shara? How's today's practical training any different from the training we've done before? Since it's practical, that means you will be exper experiencing things firsthand. Yeah. Therefore, I'm going to have the both of you run through everything as if this were a real bracer job. So what you're saying is, there won't be any studying at a desk involved. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. This time, you'll have to go out and make a physical effort to accomplish your task. I'll make sure you have your work... or to have you work up a sweat, so I hope you're ready. Yes. This is seriously just what the doctor ordered. I didn't know what I was going to do if I had to sit, a, sit another day and <laughs> my tush parked at a desk. Guess I'll, I got all worried for nothing. Well, suddenly you're all bright and cheerful, Estelle. Let's hope that smile on your face lasts until the end of today's training. Okay, let's get cracking on your first objective, shall we? Let's have at it. Right. First objective will be to confirm the details of the job you will be performing. But before that, there is something that we need to, yeah, we need to give the both of you. Aina, are they ready? Yes, they are. Alright. Alright, you two, go get one for each of yourselves. Ah. These are very important, so make sure not to lose them. Received a Bracer Notebook. Bracer Notebooks serve as the official way to record your status of your current jobs. Also, anything you may hear or anything that you may find and wear. Kind of trivial things can also 
often become clues. No matter how insignificant something may seem, always write it down. Understood. Crap, this sounds like it's gonna be a pain. <laughs> oh? Please tell me it was my ears playing tricks on me because I hear only one... I only got one response. Uh, I am sure there were two. Keeping an accurate amount count of events is also an important duty for all bracers. So get with the program and stop trying to make things out to be more than it really is, Estelle. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. Make sure you do. Alright then, let's begin. Look over by the door, you can see there's a bulletin board standing there. Okay. First, I want you two to check the job description posted there. And when the bulletin board is approached, a exclamation mark will appear. Pressing an OK button will display the job list. By selecting the job names on the list, you can view the details. But yeah, I think I'm going to end this here, so hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, then yeah, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.